Hey, Mystery Wild fans. My name is Madison J. Wild, and I'm here to talk with you about the mysterious disappearance of Nico Lisi. I've never been a fan of wasting time, so I'll waste no more by getting right into this. Nico Lisi was 18 and born in New York State, raised in the small township of Addison and Hornell. He's one of four children. Lisi was last seen by his family on September 30th, 2011, and there has been no information that has led to an arrest in this case. So Nico was a typical teenager coming of age in a small town. He spent a lot of time with a rather small group of friends. Not much is known of Nico's last days. Despite the attempts by police to interview the friends that knew him best and anyone who may know why Lisi vanished. However, it is to be believed that in the days leading up to Nico's disappearance, he took part in planning a party that took place in a cabin that is owned by his grandparents. Female clothing was left behind at the cabin, and it looks to have been discarded due to the muddy conditions outside the night the party took place. A pair of pants and women's undergarments were found, but they were not DNA tested. The local police department in Addison, New York, attempted to interview all the teens believed to be at the party. The last time Nico was known to be seen alive was at his uncle's house. His uncle has reported to police and family that Nico and a friend, Robert Knight, came to his house on September 30th, 2011, driving a gold GMC Canyon pickup. His uncle states that Robert Knight told him the pickup truck was his grandfather's, and the pair informed him that they were heading to Buffalo, New York, to spend time with friends and maybe camp. However, the pair were never known to have made it to Buffalo. On October 1st, 2011, Robert Knight suddenly appeared at his parents' house in Rumulus, Michigan at 10 a.m., an almost seven hour drive from Madison. Knight stated to his family that Lisi had dropped him off and stolen his phone. Knight's cell phone account was owned by his grandmother, and she deactivated that account on the same day that Knight arrived in Michigan after she learned the phone had allegedly been stolen by Lisi. As far as I know, there was never any information recovered or traced from Knight's phone. At this time, Lisi's family were already growing concerned about the whereabouts of Nico. His grandmother was able to contact him via cell phone around 5 p.m. on October 1st. Lisi hastily answered the phone and told her he was unable to talk right now, but he would call her back later. He was never spoken to again, and as far as anyone knows, Lisi was never actually seen in Michigan. Okay, so during the investigation, there was information that was able to be received from Lisi's phone. Lisi's phone last pinged on Flintlock Drive in Franklin, Tennessee. This probably seems like quite a shock. However, Lisi had apparently briefly attended high school in Franklin, Tennessee, and I assume he may have had some relatives and friends in the area. Despite Nico's mother's growing concern for her son and her persistence in finding answers that would bring her son home, police in Tennessee yielded no results. The interviews with friends and family in New York had not brought any new leads or persons of interest. However, Nico's mother, Monica Button, continue to push and push to have more done. The aftermath of Nico's disappearance? October 3rd, 2011. A package came in the mail that contained Lisi's driver's license. It was received by Lisi's mother, Monica. Further investigation uncovered that the license had been found in the street outside the Hornell post office on October 1st. The post office is only about 15 minutes from Nico Lisi's home in New York. October 5th, 2011. Nico Lisi is reported missing. October 8, 2011, Robert Knight was questioned by police in Michigan. Reports indicate that during his interview, his actions led to investigators recommending that Knight undergo an immediate mental evaluation, which evidently led to Knight being hospitalized for the following days. October 9, 2011, Robert Knight was released from the hospital, where he is believed to have been given a mental evaluation. October 10, 2011, only 10 days after Lisi was last seen alive, Robert Knight was found dead by a family member in Michigan at his parents' home. The cause of death was believed to be a drug overdose. In the days surrounding Knight's death, Lisi's Facebook account ominously disappeared, and his mother had been unable to recover it, even to this day. Four years after Nico disappeared, New York police traveled to Franklin, Tennessee to look for answers. After only a few days, New York police located the truck that Nico, Lisi, and Robert Knight had been traveling in the last time they were seen at Nico's uncle's house. The truck was uncovered in a private garage, and it was completely stripped down, 
However, the police came back to New York with no more information than that. The location where the truck was actually found was never released, and no arrests were made. It is unclear whether evidence was processed from the truck. If so, we are led to believe that the findings of the truck never led to any leads regarding Nico's disappearance. Remember how Nico's uncle told police that Knight stated the truck was owned by his grandfather? Police uncovered that Knight's grandfather didn't own a truck, and the GMC Canyon is believed to have been stolen from a man in Addison, New York. His identity has also never been released to the public. Do you think Lacey and Knight stole the truck? Were they running from something? And did this possibly spark a getaway plan? What really happened? Did Nico really just leave and cut off all ties with his family and friends from New York? Why was his social media account deactivated? Were the mysterious circumstances surrounding Robert Knight's untimely death just a coincidence? Where's Nico? And is he okay? Is there anyone out there who can still answer any of these questions? His mother has hoped that Nico will come home one day or another. There is an $8,500 reward for information leading to an arrest in the Lisey's disappearance case. If you have any information, you're asked to contact 1-800-TBI-FIND. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And make sure to click that little bell icon so you can be there for the premiere of future videos. Anyway, what do you guys think happened? 